doorbells. Too darn close to the house. You don't get time to get yourself ready to answer the door. Well, this was made very clear to me last week. I was on my way into the shower, and I was dressed appropriately for that assignment. <laughs> Suddenly, my doorbell rings. I assume it's one of the guys. Well, I don't have time to get dressed anyway, and I just answer the door, Al Fresco. Of course, it's not one of the guys. It's an older lady collecting money for the Heart Attack and Stroke Foundation. <laughs> Didn't take one with me, I believe she had one of each. <laughs> well, I wanted something to give me more time to prepare for my visitor, so I'm moving the doorbell from the door over here to the driveway. <laughs> it be some kind of triggering device. <laughs> Anyone who's ever driven a car knows that a pop can emits a weird kind of gravity to any driver. You can't see a pop can without driving over it. So what I'm gonna do is attach one wire to the tab, and then the other one, I got a lead sinker on there. I'm gonna drop that down inside the hole, and I got a wad of the handyman's secret weapon to stop the sinker from hitting the bottom of the can. But listen to what happens when the can moves. <laughs> the talk is cheap. Let's have a demonstration. Better yet, let's have a cheap demonstration. <laughs>